time on Beyblade. The challenge match is interrupted by the surprise arrival of Ryuga and Lightning El Drago. Ryuga launches El Drago in the Forbidden Bay, easily blows away the other competitors. At another match, Jenga hears of Ryuga's return and he vows to win more points and meet Ryuga in battle. Captain Capri and Rudero are challenged to a battle by Ryuga, who defeats them both. Tsubasa, meanwhile, hacks into the Dark Nebula computer system and downloads information on Ryuga. Tsubasa tries to make it to the roof, but he is caught by Doji and Yu. Surrounded by hostile bladers, Tsubasa defeats all of his opponents. But before he can escape, Ryuga himself arrives, and Tsubasa must prepare to fight once again. Well, if it isn't Ryuga. Welcome back, bud. That was pretty fast. So what's going on here? What's this mess all about? <sighs> my apologies for letting you see such a sorry sight, my friend. But our rat that we let run free finally revealed his true self. He was talking smack about Lightning El Drago behind your back. I'm not kidding. Totally. Oh, really? The fun and games are over now. Who sent you and for what purpose? We need an answer. If you'd rather, we can make you tell us. Just stand down. Huh? What, Ryuga? Uh, Ryuga? You should not bother with such trivial matters, my friend. Yeah, Ryuga. Leave it to me to take care of this with my Libra. <laughs> no, 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 no. This guy is all mine. Huh? huh? Wow, he's so cool. <sighs> hey, you, do you really want to know about El Drago that much? Then how about I show you? <clears throat> that works perfectly for me. I will crush El Drago along with your ambitions right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let it rip! Special move! Eagle Metal Wing Smash! Wow, we he's using a special move already! Against the overwhelming power of El Drago, a normal attack cannot produce any damage, so there's no point in playing it safe. Using a special move for the first attack was a wise decision on Tsubasa's part, it would seem. He knows exactly what he's doing. Unfortunately, it's not enough! Huh? What? He played right into Ryuga's hands. Battling head-on, El Drago is useless! Way to go, Ryuga! Keep going and snatch all of his power, okay? Ha! All my power? That couldn't happen, could it? It takes in the power of its opponent and grows stronger. That must be why it's called the Forbidden Bay. Hmm, having trouble? I thought you said you wanted to beat me. The only thing big about you is your mouth. Ah, Eagle, move away! Oh no, what is this now? What sinister force did you awaken? I'm not going to stand here and let this happen, you understand me? Uh, I have to somehow put an end to it! Uh. All right, go, Earth Eagle! You are too inferior! Do you really think you can win against El Drago by attacking head-on? I'm not done yet! Uh. <laughs> Eagle, Diving Crush! He still has that much power left? It's okay, it's okay. There's no way where you go will be beat today. <laughs> See? What's this? No way! That should have been a direct hit! Using El Drago's attack power to counterattack was clever. I'll give you credit for that. But only for that. Yeah, yeah, just, just for that. What? Did you really think you could defeat El Drago with that pathetic power? 
Ryuga, you're a monster! Eagle! Hang in there! Eagle's true power is shown when it's on the defense. If I can just keep up this guard, I should be able to turn the tables for good. I see. So he's trying to drag out the battle, hmm? Whatever. He should just give up, because there's no way he can win. Poor guy. <laughs> Indeed. Eagle cannot handle El Drago's attacks forever. He doesn't have the strength. However, he must be plotting something, but what? <laughs> You're really giving me a pretty good ride. Sorry, but... Playtime is over! I was thinking the same thing. Eagle! What's this? He's gonna attack back? Hit him! Eagle, counter stance! Take it! <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> that did nothing! Huh? What? Oh no! I can't pull away! I don't get what's happening! If you're surprised by this, just wait. I told you that I would show you El Drago's power, didn't I? And I will! Eagle! Oh. Ah, its power is endless! Get a taste of what El Drago can do! Uh. Oh, goody, goody, here it comes! Dark moves! Dragon Emperor! Who are you? My name is Phoenix. Phoenix? I will take care of this battle. What is this? Whoa, he flew? How cool is that? Whoa, amazing! This is an outrage. How was someone like this allowed to break in here? What were the guards doing? Very sorry, sir. Thanks to you, the rat was able to escape. Whoa, no kidding! And I got ripped off from seeing the end of Ryuga's dark move. Hmm... This masked phoenix? Who could that mysterious blader be? All I know for sure is that he's not on our side and he's big! We have a new enemy. If that's the case, then we, the Dark Nebula, must work on strengthening our forces immediately. No, nah, no, nah, we're doing okay. Our numbers have already increased, OG. Increased, you say? When did this happen? Mm-hmm. I told him to do something to prove himself to us first, you know what I mean? I'm a genius. Yep, that's what I said. Now my mission begins. You're watching the final battle of this 
challenge match at the Alamo Town Stadium. The key to winning this important battle will be the walls built throughout the stadium all over the place. These walls go up, down, left, right, moving at random. It's unbelievable. Sometimes they can protect you, becoming a shield, and sometimes they can become a cover for your attack. Yeah! yeah. How you use these walls will be the difference between victory and defeat. And the first player who has won a spot in this battle is the one, the only, your favorite and mine, the guy with the white horse, Jenga! But don't count his opponent out. His launch is super fast. No, that's the bolt. It's Django. <laughs> My lightning launch will leave you in the dust. So come on and get it, Jenga. Yeah, we'll see. Get ready, bladers. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Let it. So fast, the bolt, Django, does not disappoint. Too fast to follow, he launches at the speed of light. Oh no! Can you believe this, folks? The lightning launch was shot down in midair. Who could have possibly done this? Uh, that. Hmm. You call that a lightning launch? It looked more like a fly to be swatted by me. Oh, check it! The Bay Slinger has barged in on the battle. It's the Sniper, Tobio! No, Tobio is no more. My name is Captain Capri, the Dark Nebula Organization's best blader. Oh, no! You're from the Dark Nebula! Huh? huh? <laughs> Jinga, I don't let my target get away for good. You will regret becoming my target. <laughs> Here I come! Huh? What is he doing? He shouldn't go around saying he's Dark Nebula's best blader. It's not right. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see what his skills are like. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Huh? <sighs> now let's get this party started, Jenga. I'm happy to! <laughs> Since you're a part of the Dark Nebula, there's no way I can back down. All right. Now it's Storm Pegasus versus Storm Capricorn. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, yeah, come on, do it. Huh? But hang on, you guys. Time out. Three. Huh? You can't just start another. Bring it on. Two. Two one. Let it. Rip. Huh? What? Ooh, oh, OK. I guess the battle is underway. <laughs> There's two bursts of wind! Boho! Two storms clashing! But the one sent flying first is Storm Capricorn! My Pegasus won't lose in a head-on attack! Don't be a fool! You've got me all wrong! Ha! And maybe you don't understand me! What do you mean? Just that it's all going according to plan. Basic launching means you take the best position to aim at your target. <sighs> Are you planning to use the walls as a shield? You got it, buddy. From that position over there, good luck trying to attack my Capricorn. But the walls will be an obstacle for you, too. That's where you're wrong. Sniper shot. Ha! Say what? It makes it through that small of a space? If a sniper can see his target for even a split second, he can bring it down, no problem. This is the perfect stadium for me to use all my skills against a guy like you. Here it comes! <laughs> now Pegasus is nothing more than a target for me to shoot at. Joke Silver! If you can do it, then I'm sure I can too! Unstoppable! Bummer! Pegasus is bouncing aimlessly around the walls of the stadium. Like I said, folks, if you can use these walls to your advantage, you can win. Lucky for me, being a sniper means I know how to figure out all the angles, all the ins and outs of the place I'm shooting. Pegasus! Captain Capri seems to somehow know all of the movements of the walls. Oh, but how does he do it? 
It's pretty simple! Even if you say the walls move randomly, there is a set pattern within that movement. The number of walls, the gap between rising and falling, and the direction. If you factor in all those combinations in your head and calculate, you can predict the next move pretty easily. What? So how does he do it? Can Captain Capri retain all the wall movements in his head? Sniper shot! Ah! Just back us down again! Looks like Jigga has no way to fight back! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, man! Where could he be hiding? <laughs> Is this all you got, Jinga? You're way different than what I heard about you from Kyoya. What did you say? <laughs> I thought I wanted to try battling you once, but it seems like this was a big waste of time. <sighs> Where are you, Captain Capri? Stop hiding and come out! Kyoya doesn't sneak around and hide when he fights! Come out and face me fair and square! Ha 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 ha! Fair and square? It doesn't matter what you do. <sighs> or how you do it, as long as you win the battle, Jinga. <sighs> go, 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 Capricorn! Whoa, amazing! Capri changes from hiding behind the walls and sniping. This time, it's a series of attacks using the Quake Performance Tip. Up against the multiple ways Capricorn uses the walls, Pegasus doesn't have a way to fight back. <sighs> Did you check that out? This is Capricorn's true power. Uh, what do I do now, then? You should give up. In this world, there are some walls that you can never get past. Yep. It's a wall that is frightening and so big it can't be compared to anything else. What's that? Yes, and you will never know how much fear I felt inside when he looked at me, Jenga. Dark Moon! Ah! Dragon Emperor Soaring Bite Strike! What? Ow! What do you want, huh? And then I understood that his El Drago, that the wall called Ryuga, can never be crushed! Never! What? Did you say Ryuga? There is only one way for me to survive. It is to defeat you and to impress that person! Did you say Ryuga? Give up now, Jinga. When I beat you this time around, I will have a future! Don't count on it! There are no walls that cannot be overcome! Pegasus and I will not give up! No matter how tall the wall is, I'll get past it, even if I have to smash it apart! You're too innocent! Get him! Special move! Capricorn! Spin Screwdriver! Unbelievable! I can't believe it! <laughs> All right, listen, Capri. There are no walls that cannot be broken. I will prove it to you! Pegasus and I, we will prove it to you! What a huge upset! Brought back from the break with one move! Unbelievable! A big win for J -J 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 Jenga! Awesome, Jenga! You defeated Captain Capri! Mm.
So this is the Jenga that Kiyoya was talking about. Oh, Captain Capri, look, guess he's a big dud. On the contrary, he fulfilled his purpose quite well, as a matter of fact. Huh? Jenga, the more power he gains, the better catch he'll become for Ryuga and Eldrago. Hmm. Let's just wait for the time when he becomes even more delicious, and then we feast on him at Battle Platers! <laughs> Good one! <laughs> <laughs>